right behind me we have Wendell installing the Alpha X kit on the 997 Turbo. This Turbo will be our entrance or our entry for the Manila Auto Salon this 2018. Um, it's going to be super exciting because this has our old and new kit on it. In between we're going to be doing our TTR Liberty Walk build. Super excited because the 2017 GDR with the version 1.5 kit right here. It's a very basic kit, the chin package right here and then the fender flares and then the hood. Morning guys. Um, wanted to do a quick update on the 997 Turbo. I wasn't so sure if I was going to shoot this because we weren't sure where we were headed with the rear of the car. So as you know, we've been working on this 997 Turbo for almost a year. We've been adapting the old and new kit to the car and we we're done with the front end, the pop-up lights work. And now we had moved to the rear and I wanted to change the design because we were inspired by the 935 that just came out. And now we have a 935 looking long tail 997 turbo. Um, me and Kevin worked on the fender, shaping it this way. And as you can see, it's very inspired. So it's very retro, front end, got the pop-up light. We finally got the pop-up mechanism to work. And it's pretty retro, so that's working. We're working on the other side now. But yeah, let me show you how this car looks. As you can see here, Kevin is building a mount so we can pull the taillights out just so that it's not tucked away deep into the system like that one. Obviously, I'm um, at the taillight level, but if you're gonna go up to a seating position, you lose a bit of the taillight already. So by doing this, we get to extend the lights out and the rear bumper, and we just gotta make new tips for the exhaust. So there you go, it's a 935 inspired with a little of the GTR or the, the GT1 concept. So we've actually moved the rear bumper out just a little and we've created the intake or exhaust system for the front mount intercooler which goes through there, out there. And then we're, we're going to redo the piping for the exhaust to come out. After that, a simple basic diffuser. So right now Kevin will be molding the right side so that we can get a clean looking fender so that we can start working on the bumper. This car was supposed to make it for the Manila Auto Salon but because of all the major adjustments, no, not gonna make it. As you can see, we are now molding the rear fenders for our 997 Turbo project. Hopefully within two days, we're gonna have a product. But after that, we're gonna be working on the rear bumper and the rear diffuser. So excited to finish that car. It's gonna look amazing. Something different, something new. Hopefully people like it. Hopefully you like it, but at the end of the day, I like it. I'll be doing a quick update with our 997 long tail. And we have most of the components ready. So front fender, side skirt to chin, front bumper, and Kevin right now working on the rear trunk. And over here we have the rear bumper. These are the final pieces. Hopefully in the next, I would say a week, we will be assembling the car and rolling it out as a complete car. We have to do some final details on the headlight mechanism and getting the headlights to functionally work before we send the car off to paint. After that, it's gonna be tuning and yeah, the car's gonna be ready for unveiling. So, excited to see that happen too. Um, but besides that, keep you guys posted, update you guys later. Doing some quick updates with our 997 old and new project. Right now, Kevin has finished molding the car and now installing all the body panels. So, he's doing some alignment. Here's our long tail version. Everything's now complete. Got the fenders, the lower bumper. We still need to make the diffuser. 
our trunk with the scoops and the wing. Look at this break. Side skirts are complete. Front fender with vents. We gotta cut all this out. Fabricate the headlight covers. We ended up removing the fog light that comes to the old and new car because we need to cool the turbo down. Um, this car is pushing, going to be pushing about 800 horsepower. So instead of putting the fog light here, we just made this ring and we will leave this as an open intake. We'll be adding a rubber lip later on here just to give it some more aggressive, like down to the ground feel. And after that, fixing the intake over there. We want to make sure that the air just rams into the scoop. But yeah, in the next few days, this car will be going off the paint. And I think we're going to stick with the original color. It is um, a notch blue. It actually reminds me of my old BMW E39 M5. So original paint. And then later on, maybe we will be doing a P1 coating on it. Not sure yet. Uh, just want to get this car finished so that we can get it on the dyno so that we can get it tuned. We also have to extend the tips for the Klein Inconel exhaust to make it come out. We're just going to make some regular stainless tips with bolt clamps on it just for now because we weren't sure on we were, where we were headed with the design when we started it. And now that we have a design, we have to adjust. Um, I quite like the exposed exhaust, but we will be putting a diffuser just to complete the whole look of the car. Look how wide this is. Beautiful. We ended up pulling the whole bumper out about an inch and a half, two inches. I wanted to make sure that the taillights weren't ducked in. So like the P1 or the GT1, the Porsche GT1, we actually extended the rear bumper, pulled it out, and as you can see here, there's a gap. But we're just going to be making some bracketing. Here are our vents, nice. And then obviously this will be all painted black. Exciting stuff. So yesterday I was cutting the fender bands and here's finished product. Obviously we gotta clean it out some more. Right now Kevin working on the headlight mounts. Here are the buckets that we have for the headlight. 